RC with Adam is brought to you in part by these super awesome people. Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam, so glad to be back here with you. Today we're talking about five most common reasons that you can't get your transmitter to show up in beta flight. And I know that's very frustrating, so let's get started right now. Just so we're all on the same page, Betaflight is the flight configurator that you use to change the settings in your flight controller in your quadcopter. And whenever you're setting up your quadcopter, especially for the first time, you always want to make sure that you have a good connection between your transmitter, the receiver, and then have it show up in your flight controller. Like for example, to change the modes, you wanna make sure that all your switches work, you wanna make sure that your uh, flight controls are going in the correct direction, all that kind of stuff. And you have to have your transmitter talking to your receiver, talking to your flight controller to make that happen. So the situation that you're probably in is that everything should work. So you have a receiver that you know should work with your flight controller and your transmitter should work with your receiver and all that stuff. So that part's taken care of, but it's not working for some reason. So let's get started. Let's go through these five or so things that might be causing this problem. The first thing I like to check is my receiver side of things and the actual, the physical stuff going on in the quadcopter, the actual physical quadcopter itself. So you wanna check your wires. You wanna make sure that there's no breaks in the wires. And really importantly, you wanna make sure that your wires are going to the right places. You want to make sure that the signal wire in your receiver is going to the RX pad on the flight controller. And you want to make sure that it is the correct RX pad for that flight controller. Some flight controllers have a specific RX pad that you need to use depending on which type of receiver protocol you're using. So if you're using S bus, you might need to use, for example, RX one. And if you're using I bus, you might need to use RX two, but it will change, it will change based on your flight controller. So check that in like your flight controller manual. Also some receivers can have a switchable output mode in terms of whether they're using iBus or SBus. So you may need to do that. I think uh, I know of some Eachine receivers. I think it's the, I, the IA8S, the A8S or something like that. Anyway, some receivers do have a physical button on there that you need to press in order to change the mode that the receiver is working in. So either usually either IBUS or SBUS. So double check that as well. Also, I know this is really simple, but do keep in mind that your receiver does need power when it's connected to Betaflight in order for the transmitter to connect to the receiver. You gotta make sure that you have a battery plugged in unless it is already powered by the uh, USB power, um, but make sure you take your propellers off before you do that. Another pretty obvious one, but it's good to double check, is you need to make sure that your receiver is actually bound to your transmitter, otherwise you can't expect your transmitter to show up when it's connect when your quadcopter is connected to Betaflight. So make sure that it is in fact bound. And usually, you, the best way to tell that is by either a blinking light on the receiver, or uh, it, typically it's like a steady red when, when it is bound. Or you, it might show up on the screen of your transmitter that it has a connection to the receiver. Okay, so we have our quadcopter squared away. Everything should work fine on there physically. Now let's move to our transmitter. Our transmitter, in this case, I'm talking about the FlySky i6 series. So i6, i6x, or i6s. You will have the option, or you should have the option, check uh, which firmware you have. If you have questions about that, let me know which firmware you have. But you should have the option to change the receiver output mode or RX output mode. And you wanna make sure that the output mode matches whatever protocol you're using for your uh, serial receiver, for your quadcopter receiver. So typically it's going to be IBUS or SBUS. And you wanna make sure that you have the correct one selected in your transmitter. So now you know that you have a connection between your transmitter and your receiver. Now we need to make sure that the receiver is properly talking to the flight controller, talking, so that way the transmitter will show up when we connect the quadcopter to Betaflight. Now, this part we jump into Betaflight. So the ports tab in Betaflight, where it says UART such and such, UART one, UART two, whatever the number is, that will correspond to the pads, the RX and TX pads on the flight controller. So you want to make sure that the pad that you use for your receiver, you have serial RX checked. So you wanna make sure that we're telling the, the flight controller that we're using that pad for our receiver. 
and it's called a Serial RX. And then you wanna make sure that you click save and reboot at the bottom. And again, you need to make sure that your flight controller can use your the protocol that you're using on that physical pad. So that's just a thing you gotta check in the manual. Uh, if, I think if you're running an F7 board, then it doesn't matter. You can use any of the RX pads. If you are using an F4 or F3 uh, flight controller board, you may need to actually use a different RX pad, and that's that's not a big deal. Like pretty much, you can if you if you don't know which pad to exactly use, which RX pad, you can just kind of try them all and then see which one actually works. But you got to make sure that all of the settings reflect the pad that you're using. Now that we have that taken care of, let's jump into the configuration tab in Betaflight and down there where it says uh, receiver setup or receiver settings. You wanna make sure that those settings correspond to your receiver settings. So for example, in my case, you know, it would be S bus or possibly I bus because I tend to use either. Those are like the most common ones, but you wanna make sure that you have that set up for your uh, receiver. Shabam! That should do it. If that doesn't solve your problem, leave a comment down below and maybe I or someone else will be able to help you. I know it's frustrating. Hang in there. I'm here for you. We're going to try and get you up in the air. Uh, so just, you know, stay with it. In any case, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate your support. If you feel like you've gotten at least 10 cents worth of value out of this video, consider supporting me on ko-fi.com slash rcwithadam and I would sure appreciate it. Thanks for watching everybody, and I will see you again very soon.